Hey everybody, it's Randall back with another video. So it's uh, been interesting times, hasn't it? Uh, this week I actually started to remote into my job from home. I mean, I go into the office once a week to do work that I can't do from home. And the rest of the week I'm just logging into, remoting into my computer from here and to my job, which kind of feels weird. Uh, feels weird to roll out of bed and five minutes later be at, technically at work. Um, it's been a adjustment for me because I'm somebody that's used to being on the go. Um, and working from home the past week plus, it sort of felt like every day has merged into one. I am not used to this. Um, and I can only imagine what everybody else is going through. Um, but it was also an interesting week for me. Um, I, I actually had somebody on Twitter threaten me with physical violence because they didn't like something I said. Now, I'm not going to, you know, say who the individual was. I'm not going to put, put them over that way by saying their Twitter handle. But this individual said that they would like for their fist to meet my liberal face. And they threw a couple other threats in there as well. I reported it to Twitter. Now, this is not the first time I've had somebody threaten me with physical violence because they don't like what I say on Twitter. Last time, I actually had an NRA supporter threaten to shoot me. And somehow that did not violate Twitter's terms, which it still boggles the mind. Um, so that was part of my week. So it's been kind of an interesting week. Uh, you know, and I'm trying to remain positive. Remain positive throughout all the madness. You know, I see what Andrew Cuomo is trying to do here in New York. And some people don't like it. Okay. He would rather repurpose the ventilators and needed equipment that are sitting on shelves in hospitals where they don't have the overrun of cor cor uh, coronavirus patients, and he wants to repurpose them for hospitals in New York, New York City, where they've got a massive amount, and people are actually losing their minds over this. But they have no problem with the Trump administration going out there and saying, well, no, 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 these ventilators, yeah, they can stay in the boxes, okay? That's part of our stockpile. It's not our fault if the states uh, ran out. And it made me think of an episode of TV show MASH where they're trying to get, um, oh God, what was it? They're trying to get a machine so they could to test viruses, okay? Uh, and they found one, but the guy didn't want to get rid of it because he had three. And if he gave them one, it would mean he only had two. And they... Ran into another individual and said, hey, I've got it, but I'm going to sell it to you at a very high price. Um, and that sort of makes me think of that's where we are right now with the Trump administration, that they are actually going to willfully withhold equipment that the states need to head off this virus because they don't want to give it up. They don't want to give away their, their precious allotment. And it boggles my mind that people are actually applauding this. Governor Cuomo is doing something radical to try to get ventilators off the shelves and into the hospitals that need them. Whereas Trump is actually hoarding ventilators and people are applauding him. What the hell? How loyal to your party do you have to be to sign on to this madness, this insanity? Trump is more worried about his approval ratings than he is if somebody lives or dies. This is insane. I don't understand this. Somebody needs to comment below. Somebody needs to tell me, how do you rationalize supporting somebody that subscribes to that line of thinking? Somebody who's like, yeah, we're going to let those ventilators stay on the shelf. It's not our fault that your state had too many cases of the coronavirus. That's on you. How the hell can you endorse something like that? I want to know. I really want to know. I want to hear your arguments. I want to hear your reasoning as to why you're going to go out there 
and you're going to post things about Andrew Cuomo and call that a gross overreach, his desire to use the National Guard to get these ventilators, which he's already promised the hospitals he's going to pay for if they don't get them back, but you're applauding Donald Trump for hoarding these same ventilators and allowing people to die. I want to know your rationale for supporting that. That is insanity. That is the type of rationale I would expect from the individual who threatened to punch my lights out. You've got to ask yourself how much longer are you going to stay loyal to a party when you realize it's putting your fellow Americans at risk. That's what I want to know. That's what I really want to know. I don't get it. Jared Kirshner, this past week, went out and said, Hey, it's not our fault the states ran out. We're hoarding our stuff. Donald Trump goes and lies about well, pretty much everything. Saying that there was a broken system that he inherited when the system that would have provided more ventilators, more needed equipment, he actually cut from the budget. He didn't want any more. Criticizing a man who is going to some severe lengths to help everybody, and we're applauding a man who's willing to let Americans die. I never thought I would actually utter those words, but there's where we are. That's my take. Like I said, I want to see comments below, man. I want to hear your arguments. Have a good day and a better tomorrow.